Hey guys, Graham here. Today we're doing something different. A couple weeks ago, we had 100 subscribers here on the channel and I promised I would do a bookshelf floor. Well, I'm about to get started with some spring cleaning, dusting and things of that nature. And I thought, what better way to show off the bookshelf than by dusting it and also showing you the books that are in there as we reorganize them and make it look better. So, welcome. Sorry for the landscapers. Let's kick things off by making some coffee. That's good. You can add a little bit of cream and sugar in this too if you want to, but this way really makes the flavor. What's up guys? We're here at the bookshelf. We're gonna be going shelf by shelf. I already got the top done with dusting, but we're gonna start here. I'm gonna unload some stuff. You're gonna watch me dust off a little bit and then I'll show you some of my favorite books on that shelf. And uh, after we're done dusting, I'll just do a zoom in on all of them. So let's get dusting. have like a rhyme or reason of what I'm putting in here if they just have to look good down here is what my wife says and so we have some pretty pretty we have some pretty books over here that we're going to be doing but first off crying in H Mart is going to be a book that I'm reading very soon and so I'm gonna be putting it off to the side you won't see it back on the shelf and you also are going to be seeing me read the art of racing in the rain and I'll explain that later. I think I'm gonna have like a TBR section upstairs in the bookshelf that I use with the other videos. So anyways, there's some two standout ones, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put these back. There's a few books before I put them back that I just wanted to quick mention. Like if you guys not have read All Systems Read by Martha Wells, it is a very short book, but it is awesome. I really want to continue reading the Murderbot series. This will be something I read in the future, but I read this last year and it was a lot of fun. So I highly recommend if you want something short, sci-fi, and really embraces humanity quite a bit. Also, I wanted to show off this really pretty, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. It has printed flower edit edges. And I haven't read it yet actually, but this randomly showed up in the mail. I never bought it. It just showed up and I don't know where it came from. And it was, so it was a pleasant surprise. I don't know if it was like a Goodreads win, but the art in it is super pretty. And the other crazy part is it's signed as well. So that is really cool. I can't wait to be able to read this really nice, pretty book and uh, get the hype around what this story was. So. Glad I have some cool art thing and I get to experience it like to its full effect. So, yeah. I wanted to show you this really old copy of Treasure Island by Robert Louis Stevenson. A lot of these books in this classic area were actually left by my wife's grandfather. And this was one of his older books in his collection. I know it's a paperback, but it used to be 50 cents and it's kind of cool. Finn says hi. <laughs> My wife brought a lot of her books she read as a kid or younger or like 14 or everything. And so 
we have a couple series or quartets by Tamora Pierce, which I actually really recommend. Now I do a whole video on the series, but I recommend reading her books. So we have Alana, The First Adventure, and her whole quartet where it goes into the Lioness Rampart. This is set in a world called Tortel. It's a really cool fantasy universe, and it starts with Alana. And then you move on, and it's in the same world Tortel, and you're following someone by the name of Diane, who is a druid who shapeshifts, and you also run into Alana again, which is really cool. I recommend Tortel a lot. Like, I think what Tamora Pierce did was amazing. Don't sleep on these YA novels. They're awesome, and it kind of follows the tropes of a little bit of romance in there, but fantasy more so, and it's cool. So I highly recommend the series. It's it's very cool. Maybe I'll do another video on them, but yeah, this bookshelf has a lot of nostalgia to it. All right, so we are moving on to a big bookshelf here. A lot of these books are gonna go upstairs because they're some of the nicer ones. There'll be some that stay down here and we're gonna have a nice swap when we go upstairs and dust those off as well. And so, yeah, so it might take a little bit slower here to just kind of show you what we have. So, I couldn't be a booktuber without having The Way of King Leatherbound by Brandon Sanderson. They're signed and everything, which is really, really cool. My dad got them for me for Christmas one year and I am very, stoked on these books but man that art is so good it's just so nice yeah so i'm really this is my probably my most expensive book for sure so yeah this other book that i haven't read another with gold foil edges but this is dune by frank herbert i wanted to read this before the movies came out and i just never got time to do it but this is like the Barnes and Noble's little special editions. I just like the look of it, and I think I got it on sale for really, really cheap. Like you can see the worms on the back. I got it on sale for like 10 bucks because it was like a Christmas buy a book sale. So that's pretty cool. We also have a Folio Society special edition of Howl's Moving Castle. I bought this for my wife a couple Christmases ago, and it has little artwork in it things of that nature which is cool and yeah she loves the Studio Ghibli movie and so I thought this would be awesome to give her and it's just a really beautiful edition of the book. We got of course the Secret Projects by Brandon Sanderson as well so those will go upstairs you'll be able to see them and I think I'll have those there and then have like my TBR right next to them so that we can see beautiful books and then see the books that I'm reading. Alright, so that covers this first bookshelf. I'm going to be moving all those books upstairs, but let's go ahead and get a really nice shot of each shelf. Even with it having gaps and stuff, you'll see those books that are going to replace it and go in there in a little bit. So let's go ahead and show you the shelves. All right, hello everyone. We are upstairs at our bookshelf. The goal is to change these books here to be cool so that you guys can be able to see them. And let me just give you the grand scope of the shelf. So well, we got stuff all the way up here that you guys don't normally see. I'm gonna try to angle so you can watch me go through all the books we can see. We got like from big to, or big sides and then small middles. I'm gonna try to keep it more or less the same because I'm happy with what that looks like. But we might move some books, swap them out, and uh, go from there. 
so yeah, we'll we'll do that and we'll keep stopping and talking about certain books that uh, I think are cool for you. This is where we film everything. This is our master bedroom and uh, I just sit in a little stool right there in front of the bookshelf. There's the bed. I use that laptop to hold the phone. Magic. All right, let's get to uh, cleaning. Next series is something you're not gonna talk about too much, but it's called All of Us Villains. We read it to our son Finn, and it was fun. It's about like Disney villains that are competing in this like Hunger Games type situation, and they have magic rings, and they're all pretty evil. It's really fun and campy. It's not the best series in the world. Like the first book's definitely better than the second book, but it's just fun and a really quick read. So if you need something that's just Kind of has those Hunger Games, Disney type vibes. It's a pretty fun series. I pick it up if you're not missing much if you don't pick it up either. So I'm trying to kind of put like horror over here or like horror romance, I might kind of make that edge into horror. That's why you see like the midnight sun up here and stuff. And I'm probably gonna be moving A Court of Thorns and Roses downstairs. I don't know what to do with Frederick Bachman. He might end up being here as I try to piece together more fantasy with fantasy type stuff. Um, yeah, so that's my thoughts right now. I'm trying to just gauge it, keep it with big books to, to little books in the middle and we'll go from there. So it might be a little bit different by the time we get there. Things are starting to get a little bit tricky. I don't know how well the time lapse is working either, but we have pretty much up here, we have fantasy still with all of a sudden some dark horror stuff, sci-fi, and then dark academia-ish. And then this is where we can start putting in some of the nice books that are brought. I think they might look better here because that's what the camera will see. Even the camera kind of sees here too. And I know the camera definitely sees here, but that's usually placed behind me. So we're gonna do some moving around and finagling and we'll get there. If you've watched my channel for a while, Bear Town is one of my favorite series and this was a gift from my friend when they went to Sweden and they actually picked up an original Swedish copy. I know it's a paperback, I know it's the cheapy one, it has the HBO TV show cover, but what I would love is to have this version signed by Frederick Bachman if I ever meet him because it's a little bit more sentimental even though I can't read it. So. Fun fact. All right, let's keep going. We can't get rid of Mothman. He will always be in the videos. Uh, maybe he'll be a channel mascot. We bought this at a little camp, or not a camp, that's weird. A I think it was Beer Fest up in Flagstaff, and I thought it was very cute, and I love the Mothman. Fun fact about me, I think he's hilarious. If you have any book recommendations on Mothman, let me know. That'd be awesome.
All right, so we have finished the bookshelf, I believe. So let's go ahead and do a quick tour so you can see all the books on there. And then we'll check the last camera shot and we'll send you off. So let's check it out. Starting at the top. Well, that is the bookshelf tour. Thank you guys so much for being here and thank you for 100 subscribers. I can't believe we did it in the amount of time that we did. And I think the shelves look really good. We have our leather bounds in the shot now, so you can see them. We have Frederick Bachman over here. He has his own section because I like him a lot. And we even have a Pikachu next to our monthly TBR. So you'll always see what I'm reading. Uh, after we do our monthly TBR videos. So thank you so much again for everything. Let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the tour was, and I'll see you guys next time. Toodles.